Boom, she won the nine win in the big Oh, she's made the nine ball. Welcome back everybody to the final of the Pro Billiard Series Women's Showdown. 16 of the best female players in the world started their campaign in Las Vegas to win the trophy and a check of $35,000. In this final match we do have the current world number one, Chiucho, taking on Christina the Crystal to catch. And what a match this will be, I expect this one to be a cracker. And it will be even better because I have my dear friend with me in the booth. A warm welcome to Mark White. Lovely to have you here, Mark. Well, thank you very much. And you're making me blush with all your kind words. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone, all fans around the world. Yep, I'm really, really up for this one. Well, I've been up for a few hours now. 10.30 in the morning here in Thailand. And I've been up since about 3, watching all the other men's 10 ball games. But I've been looking forward to this one and Christina must be feeling in very good mood because her boyfriend and partner Fred of course has just gone through to the semi-finals and what a big paycheck they could both be taking home Tim after this weekend but that young lady in the chair chow to you she is world number one as you say and she's very very hard to beat she's been there before she's done it before Christina we saw it yesterday in the semi-final. She just choked slightly towards the end, but she fell over the line against Wei Chi Chen. And this maybe is the event where she can really make that breakthrough. So here we go then. It's the Taiwanese to break off rack number one. break three balls on the break and she's got shape on the one ball could be off to a good start look at the cue ball not that much spin on it maybe a little bit overcut but she's not really gonna rewatch that break We mentioned him while we're talking about the break Tim early nines on the break golden breaks do count and you and I were having a little chat and we was watching them warm up. They almost made the nine ball in the bottom right hand corner on a few occasions. So keep your eye open for that. It is something that happens or can happen with the hand rack, of course. So watch that nine ball as well. Took the medicine a bit on that three ball knew she didn't have a great angle on me and also Mark mentioned earlier before the match he said Cho started playing with this cue at the beginning of this event so definitely I've seen her do this a couple times she's been not playing with that much outside spin just because she's not able to completely feel the cue ball yet kind of having a little chuckle to myself inside here Tim because that was a little bit harder than the shot she was practicing when she was warming up and she just couldn't get it right but she got that one right when needed on that three ball the thin one along the rail so it looks like a good start the young lady from Chinese Taipei A little bit of pressure on that six ball. You could see her arm pinch just a bit after striking the ball, but nice and clear. First break run of the match. Great start. Winner breaks as well, Tim. 
How many break and runs are you expecting, Tim? I mean, the one ball is on the spot, which makes the wing ball kind of wired anyway. You'd have to hit them pretty bad not to make the one ball. I know it's a hand rack as well, uh, the wing ball, sorry, not the one ball. How do you see it going? Well, it's always a little bit difficult to say. Um, the last match I just did was Biado and... Um, I forgot. Oh, boy. I just did a three and a half hour match. Coping Chum. Coping Chum. Coping Chum, exactly, yeah. And they barely got <laughs> any shape after the break, even though they were making balls on the break. So it's so depending on what you get after the break. But if they keep making two balls on the break, I would say definitely five, maybe six. I think it's possible in a couple sets total. Was that the answer you were looking for? Anything from your lips is fine. Great. Okay. Well, let's see. She's made the one this time. It's the two ball to go. Needs it to go. Might be just enough. A tough angle to get to the two ball. Still a nice power break. Good action on the ball, so definitely a favorite to make a ball on the break if she's breaking like that. Safety may be down behind the nine. Well, has she got there? I think she might have just got there. Now, we know Christina has a partner who is probably the best jumper in the world and she's told me in interviews before that he does give us some little tips on jumping. Yeah, anything on the left of the two ball would give pretty decent result. Just to go to the other corner. Has she fluked it? Has she fluked it? She has. Wow. Fed or tall, that one. Well, if he did, I'm due for some lessons. <laughs> I just wondered, Tim, when I was watching that, is, do you reckon it's pretty disconcerting when a player's looking down and they see the big face staring at them, a bit like a, looking into a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Love this arena. So, long three ball. Just wondering, was she looking at playing the combo? It's really difficult. Or is she going to roll the safety? The three off the rail after four. Oh, clever shot. Just a little bit unfortunate not to be on the four. Jump stick again, maybe. She's got it in hand. Looks like giant chopsticks in her hand. I don't want to see the size of the shrimp. So she's going airborne again. Oh, wow. That's three bolts. Well, this is promising for a start. Coming up with the big shots from the beginning. Definitely a chance to gain early confidence. Can she get out here? As the saying goes, it's the shot after the good shot, which is always the hardest. And she managed that very, very well. But she, unfortunately, she's got another one here. Awkward queuing, not the tallest of young ladies. Queuing over the nine, but not much to do with the cue ball. Impressive start, Tim, from both players. Yeah, I just believe that there is more pressure on Christina to start this match just because she might be 
slight underdog, of course. But if she runs out here, that might give her a big boost, knowing that she stepped up to the plate from the beginning. And it's such a big deal. In the corner here, staying away from the side pockets as most players do. Natural angle to take her onto the nine is then to level things up and then we can have a look at Christina's break. Christina leveling the score. Of course, it all started with that fluke. The first shot she really got on the two ball. But she has made a great carom with the three and a great jump after. And the route to the final for these two young ladies, Chao Chao Yu, lost to Margaret Fefilova. In her very first match, it was round robin, remember, in four groups, and then the top two went through from each group to make up the quarterfinals. She then beat Pia Filler. Um, Bin Hung was another young lady she overcame. Cheska Centino, of course, the Las Vegas Women's Open champion, and in the semis yesterday, she beat Jasmine Ocean. Solid here, nine ball going close to that corner. Watch out for that, guys. She's got a nice shot on the two. Well, look at the layout here, Tim. Yeah, and this is definitely what I mentioned, is when they start to make two balls on the break, the percentages are going sky high on getting a shot as well. Look at this, straight on the two, following the three. Could play the 6-9 combo, could shoot the 6 as well. What a chance for Christina. She's got the angle to come across, so the big shot then is from 6 to 7. I would say stay off the rail and leave yourself angle. You don't want to be too straight on this. Played, played it with inside, right hand spin, making the path of the cue ball a lot easier. Good stuff here from that young lady. I think she's looking at you then, Tim. As if to say, I hope you're saying nice things about us in commentary. <laughs> sure. Well, the only thing I'm just hoping to see from this match is that it actually becomes a match. Not that one player might overrun the other player. And of course, the player that plays the best is obviously going to win most of the time. So, up till now, the better player has been Christina. That run out and a break around. Of course, both players still 100% break success, making a ball on the break. Just a run out percentage, of course, out of three games. Christina won twice and Joe won once. That's where the run out percentage came from. The player Christina's overall performer carry on. is looking good for Christina. Can't beat a good pop. And that young lady, her route to the final, she beat Kelly Fisher in her first match, then she lost to Cheska Centeno, and then got back to her winning weight against Yuki Hiraguchi in the next match. And then Simin Chen was the huge victory 
in the quarter final and then Wei Chu Chen as we said in the semi breaking off now then looking good to get the trophy we yeah, can great in. cue ball again <coughs> but the run will stop right here no shot on the one ball just look at the cue ball perfect stop right there just either well, too soft or too firm difficult to say but I would say a little bit too soft for the one ball to continue its route in front of the corner is she going to play the cue ball behind the four or is she going to play the opposite sides eight in between nicely done she's keeping the heat on Cho good to see good start yeah, if she can kick this one ball, Tim, down that corner where that nine is, that will be the intended path anyway. Cue ball over behind the seven, maybe. Watch out, nine ball as well. No nomination, of course, for nine ball. Oh, okay. she hit it. it. Brilliantly. Yeah, maybe a little bit too firm if you look at the one ball. She might have left the one railer, but the cue ball is splendid. spin to get the angle where she wants there's the measuring system so explain this measuring system Tim what are they doing here well she's looking at going real first cutting the one ball into the three she could also be playing rail one and then the cue ball back to the rail to carry the three ball oh I didn't want that very nice well it really worked out also is coming up with big shots like this two ball guaranteed to be on the hill in this opening set oh what a shot that kiss turned out to be perfect Chao Che Yu in her seat will be wondering what's happened she broke and run the first Christina since then, she now leads 3-1 on the hill in the first set. Best of three sets, of course, and if we do go to a deciding set, there's a shootout at 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, the only thing you can I hope say I've got is... That right. Yeah, well, of course we are having so many different tournaments and different formats that also us commentators get a little bit a little bit confused at times but well it's my age sure. Tim. oh okay it's not just uh, two minutes <laughs> it's your age okay that's fine uh, <laughs> no i was just gonna say the only thing cho really has done wrong was playing that safety on the two ball or wrong she's played the safety on the two ball where Christina fluked it in and after she really yeah well she did get to kick once just now she barely got any table time and it's being down 3-1 so kudos to Christina who will be breaking to take that first set Ball, nine ball going close again, same position, Tim. It's happening a lot. We said that before. Yeah, this time she's lost the cue ball a little bit. It has worked out getting on the one ball. The tricky thing is getting on the three ball, unless she will play the cue ball in the center of the table and play a carom on the nine. Yeah, and if she does go 
Yeah, she can just draw off it, can't she? If she gets anywhere near where she is now, would be okay for the Karen on the nine. So it could be another early rack, and that's something we don't really want to see all the time. We had one in the last rack. Nine ball going close to this corner pocket again. So, this is corner extension. This is a big shot, you know. Especially, most of the people would expect Cho to be a big favorite in this match. Christina is about to prove otherwise if she makes this. She has. What a start from Christina there. Uh, it's a blitz, it's a blitz, isn't it, from the crystal? Unbelievable. It's the first rat to a break and run. This thing is surprisingly going to be a win. I guess maybe because Cow has as well. So that's going to mean that we're also going to go for a little break, but I promise we'll be back. Well, the players are back in the arena virtually, of course, but they're not here in reality just yet. But the reality is Christina to catch. Well, after losing the first rack, came out guns blazing. It was great with the jump stick. Okay, she had that little bit of luck on the two ball. But apart from that, fantastic. Well, to the question where you asked me how many break and runs I was expecting to have, I said five or six. We are already on four, I believe. Three or four or so. Oh, cue ball. It's okay. Well, the only shot, Tim, is the bank on the two, but that doesn't offer any position onto the three ball on this back rail. So probably a safety, you think? Yeah, she has to play a safety here. Um, mainly because she was trying to put a lot into the break and she lost the cue ball straight away. 
So I think she's going to bank the two ball, two rails underneath the four. Oh. Not exactly shaky. sure. It worked out all right. She hasn't left the two ball on, but you don't want to give Joe too many looks like this where she can maybe tie you up. The big difference, of course, in nine ball is, and it's very, very applicable in situations like this where there's no cool shot. So flukes are allowed, of course. Has she got cover behind the seven, Tim? I don't think so. This is on, is it? Into the side. So a chance then for Rita. Yeah, I do like the way Christina kicked at it. It's just that the tool was maybe just a hair too firm. It happens. Still has to play a good shot from the two to the three. That's not easy. There is a scratch. Might have to stun the cue ball. She killed with right spin. And did she get that little bit of fortune? Of course, she sat for the last, what is it, the last 20, 25 minutes. So these shots are very sensitive. And she might have lost the feel just a hair for the table. So she could still go one rail and cut the three wheel in, but no future on the four. I would try to find something to play safe. Can she kick, leave the cue ball right there and get the three ball out? She did go all in on the three ball. And she used the five ball to hold the cue ball. Nicely done. And here's that shot again that she was struggling with earlier on. Yeah, the only I've difference is time. now she did play with more draw. She played like a low right. And when she was practicing earlier, she was trying to play a high right or something. There was it's a little bit off. So queuing over the 6-7. I don't think the 6 ball does go in the bottom left corner. So she might have to go two rails for the top corner. Or does it go? She's played it as if it does. Unless she's playing something else. There you see clearly it does. So a little draw. Seven into the side probably. Good reply. This is what she needs. Get the break back as well. It wouldn't surprise me, Tim. If we see at least one golden break, there you go. You call five or six break and runs. I'm going to call one golden break. Well, until now, we do have a repeat in the first set. Show winning the first rack, but... It's really going to depend on if she gets something after the break. Such a huge thing. I've heard this around so many pro players that sometimes you feel like you're breaking the ball so well and just whatever you do, it's not happening. And this could be on any given moment. <laughs> and it's really How tough do you to feel, fight Tim? as well. How do you feel about taking away the push out from Paul. What do you, what's your thoughts on that? Maybe more skilled kick shots and jump shots. On the other side, like I'm saying, if your opponent has more fortune and gets more shots after the break and you don't, 
and then you have to do something crazy every single time, then the results that, that might be... That, oh! There it goes. And there it is. I was just going to say, I think the results will be shocking. Some players will be beat very big because they don't get the luck and other players do. Well, that's certainly a lucky break, so to speak. In goes the nine ball. Golden break does count. And it's just what she needed because after she broke and ran the first rack, Tim, after winning the lag in the first set, she then pushed out, I believe, and Christina had to jump, if I'm not correct, and fluke to two ball. So <coughs> she's going better already. Yeah, she definitely didn't get much stable time. Now, the break. Both ladies have been making balls in the break every single time. Just the first shot after the break, look at it. 67% for Christina and 33 for Cho. Still Cho playing a 850 player overall performance against a 929, so not too far off. And a couple shapes could really make it even back again. Not two in a row, surely. I remember seeing a match between Earl Strickland and I forget who he was playing. They made five in a row, three for Strickland and two for his opponent, and they were racking for each other. Oh no, oh no. Oof. Well, it could be another early game though, look. Would you risk this, Tim? I think you have to. You know, it's a combination of them putting a lot of energy into the break. It's also the fact that it's hand rack. And if the table is racking a certain way, it's not like you can just tilt it and make it closed, you know, because then you're basically, the referee would be cheating. So he's giving everybody the same, the same rack he can do. Now, this is a big one because this, this like could kickstart. I mean, I would Sorry, love to I play the carom. Playing the carom. Yeah, she's playing the carom, look. She's got oh, it. The she's got it. The oh, the Cubo, wow. Oh, it looked in all the way, didn't it? It was just far enough away, and that's why maybe, Tim, you're better off playing the combo rather than the carom. Desperately unlucky. What does she do here? Does she go for the run out? Or does she play? Yes, that's the answer right there. Look, she's going for the run out then. Yeah, the shape for the 2 9 really was a small area. Would be safer to get to the open side of the table and cut the two ball in this corner. I would say just speed control from the three to the four. Ooh, she almost missed that. I would say the speed shot again. Control. The speed on this is key shot. Can she play with inside and get the cue ball to the center of the table? Very tentative on those particular shots, isn't she, at the moment? Doesn't feel at one with her equipment yet. Doesn't feel part of her right arm just yet, Tim. Takes a couple of months, I would think. Yeah, I think most of the pro players experienced swapping from wood to carbon to maybe kill wood. There's so many different shafts nowadays and I think almost every player has tried it and guess yeah, some players sticks with it some player doesn't but it's 
a great pro that can say, well, I'll just swap, it doesn't matter, I can play with anything. I think Josh Phillip is a prime example of that. He made the switch and I know he tried it before and went back to wood, but now he's playing full time with it. Had a pretty good Derby City classic with it, master of the table. At least two of the events from memory. But Josh Phil is not human, is he? He's just a machine. We all know what German machinery is like. Very, very reliable. Volkswagen. So, chill on the hill the second set. After that great chance for Christina to steal the rack with a carom on the nine. I've always thought, Tim, that you just mentioned Volkswagen there. I think Volvo would make a great company to sponsor Paul. We could use the two O's as the nine ball and the ten ball, couldn't we? The eight ball and the ten ball, whatever. Come on, Volvo. Anyone listening from Volvo? Vorsprung Dirk technique. Oh no, that's Audi, isn't it? Sounds like a plan. Who, said, who, who will write the email? I'm not doing it. <laughs> Our front row, enjoying lots of action today. They've just seen a, a wonderful semi-final that you were doing yourself, Tim. And now, sorry, a quarter-final, I should say. And now this final. Oh, Again. one just got stopped in. So she did lose the cue ball a bit. Don't think she's got a shot on the one. There is a nice safety shot. She can play half a ball, top left, and follow the cue ball behind the two. At least she's going to get behind the 3-7, but behind the 2 will take away the jump. She's not even considering the jump. Maybe now she is. She's had a look at it. Most players you see come now with both cues to the table. Just coming to have a quick look. And it is the short stick that she gets out of the... Okay, not a horrible result. The cue ball s stuck to the short rail. So it will be difficult for Cho to make the one ball and get something on that two ball. And these are the tough shots. I think she was looking at playing the opposite sides, trying to get the cue ball and the object ball on the separate long rails and have the nine in between. but. You know, they're on a, a shot clock, and sometimes when the balls start to lay a little bit awkward, it's not easy to pick. Like, there's not much to do here. Had a fabulous year in 2023. Oh, wow. $93,000. And... Looking to add another 35 to that here. Kick two rails, one ball on the side. It'll be difficult to get on the two ball after. Oh, so close. And the cue ball stays up. Did she leave an angle on that one ball? She was close, but it was always the bigger task to get on the two ball after, not just to make the one. She's going to play just super dancing. drawer. 
was just going to say, Tim, she's just starting to show signs of pressure, isn't she, Christina? Just going slightly red in the face, just maybe starting to feel it. Well, on the other side, the only mistake she really has made this set is that carom on the nine, which she didn't make. Besides that, this is basically a repeat from the first set. But then the other way, then it's not Christina yeah. winning that, but Joe just, yeah. Five ball in the same corner as the four. Could go to the center of the table or similar line and then play the seven one or two rails position for the eight in the side bucket. She could even play this with inside if she wants to. Eight ball in the bottom right corner. Yeah, two she balls away. That as well. Just two balls to level the score. In sets, high, high performance here from both ladies. And I do think Christina now has left the arena for a little break. I guess we're going to be out for just a sec and we'll be right back. Welcome back everybody to the Predator Pro Billiard Series Women's Showdown. We have the final here, Christina Tukac and Chi Yu Cho. The score is tied at one. And look at these statistics. 867 player overall performance for Christina and 897 for Cho. High level pool, world class women's action and Cho will be starting the break in this third and deciding set because she has won the lag in the beginning of the match they've been alternating let's see what she can do on the break either one in the side a little bit wild cue ball did that six ball get right in between I think it's could be close if the two ball does go the three ball is next to it so she might have a shot at this one yeah at the two but no potting angle for it i don't believe tim maybe she's even looking at pushing out here
Does she think she can go at this? Or is she purposely overcutting? I was going to say create distance. And it has worked out. There's no jump unless Christina wants to go for the corner, which is very risky. Nice to kick on here though, Tim. One rail. Cue ball back behind the nine. Catch the red on the left as we look. Well, does have to play with a lot of draw to get the... Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Fantastic shot. Who needs to jump when you can kick like that? And she did catch the three as well. As it bounced out, it certainly has. Nicely done. All of a sudden, it looked like the Taiwanese young lady had got Christina in all kinds of trouble. Fabulous kick. And now the rack is on to level things up again. Oh, what has she done there? Yeah, that's also a difference. Why did she not play that with inside and go two rails towards the five? She was crossing her positional area on that shot, and that's how she ran too far. I remember the great Tony Robles always saying, don't cross the tangent line, don't cross the tangent line. It's a really bad impression of him, but it's exactly what he used to say. Nice to yeah, has played a good recovery safety on this, but of course, when you have the chance, you don't want to let it slip. Anything could happen with your opponent on the table. Yes, indeed, your impression of Tony was not really close, but I do get the point. You need to see my hand actions, Tim, when I was doing it. I'm f talking with my hands mainly, like Tony does. That's, there's no camera, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, another chance for to catch. Was aiming for a much thicker contact there on the five ball. Called it a little bit thin, kind of half ball. Which is why the ball's where they are now. Oh, she's caught that much too thin. Did she get a skid maybe? Well, let's see. Yeah, it could be either her decelerating on the ball, causing a little bit spin on the cue ball. Either way, she's missed it thick, and what a chance she had on that five ball twice. Now, if Choke can goes to real for the six in the side. She can go down for the seven. I was going to say, I doubt it was a skid, Tim, because both players are using the new Predator Pure chalk, and it's it's a chalk that gets rid of those skids, doesn't leave any residue on the cue ball doesn't make a mess on the table or your hands. Latest technology in chalks. So maybe it was just a deceleration, as you said. This is quite the steal for Cho. Two chances for Christina. 
now just hoping not to see her break down after those mistakes. This does happen quite often with players where they start off really good and they can play so good for maybe an hour and then they start to miss a couple balls and they they expect to keep up with that higher level that they're pu putting more pressure on themselves and that's where they start to break down and like I mentioned before I would love to see this go all the way so hopefully this is not the case the breaking down part well Christina <coughs> excuse me Christina has won a world title actually she's won the under sorry the junior 2017 world nine ball championship so she has been a winner but of course tim it's a whole different level isn't it stepping up into the the elite ladies oh one ball so close uh, it was a cue ball wasn't it cue yeah ball. the cue ball did go look at that one ball Three times a corner from the side, and and now if there is a two-nine combo, this would be a very quick game. It's history repeating itself. I think she's playing for position on the two, Tim. Not worrying about the combo, going for the run out. And have Gotta to leave herself say, distance number three. I'm a little bit surprised that she's not going for the combo. Especially because she playing the one in the side and going forward, she was gonna put herself on the rail. So two rail shape. No, she did play one rail. How was the speed on the three? I think she might have a small angle running towards the four. I believe the key shot is going from the five to the six. So it would be nice if she can set herself up closely to the five, not too far away. Has held the cue ball nicely on that. So a little bit awkward angle, could draw back. Could also play for a straight five ball and draw straight back for the six in the top corner. Chance to see the big to catch stroke. Christina really does cue the ball beautifully. Everything in line. Second five ball in two racks she's missing out. Oh, the wheels coming off. Yeah, even if she had hit the nine ball with the five, it would still have went. So she did have a big pocket on that five. And I just believe she was trying to play a perfect cue ball to get to the six, and that's how she took her eye off the pot. Both players feeling it now, I'm sure. This is a big, big chance for both players to have their name first on the new trophy of the Predator Women's Showdown Championship. I'm really hoping it's back next year as well, Tim, because it's a great event. It is the elite playing. Big prize money as well, 35000 to the winner. Bigger than a lot of men's events, isn't it? Yeah, it's missed 
a similar five ball like she had before, just longer. And has left the same shot for Cho, who decides not to attack here. That's an interesting choice. Because she could have went for it, really. Overcut the five would be safe as well, so it was a free shot, but she's played safe. And I think Christina can... Can she bank the cue ball two rails? Maybe get the cue ball behind the nine is possible. But five ball has priority. Nice it shot. Would be, it would be very combo? unlucky. I was going to say, if it ends up on the combo, that would be super unlucky. And I believe it just ended up to where if she only hits the five, the six will go in. Yes, it is. Yeah, and what could sometimes be a scratch off this kind of shot as well, Tim? Look, the nine balls there, if she gets a little bit of unwanted English on it. Oh, she did it very thin, super thin. Good shot. Cue ball back up for the five. That was a great shot. I know the pot was easy, but she played it nice and thin. Speed, beautiful. Yeah, slowly. Cho starting to be the favorite. Definitely getting a couple opportunities in this third set. Oh, that cue ball is... Cue ball. She ran very far on that too. Like she did check to play the seven in the bottom left corner. Chose to go to the small area and then she hit it four balls too firm. Like very surprised. She's got the jump cue out. This, this is hard to reach, surely. How can she reach this? Well, she's gonna have to hurry up because the shot clock's running down and she has no extension, I believe. Oh, good effort. But Christina gets another and she needs to come and pick her cue up. Hold the shot clock, says the referee. Picking up all the equipment. Look, she's got loads of stuff, like a golf, like a golfer there for a second, picking up all her stuff. Oh, what a let off, Tim. She'll breathe a sigh of relief right there because she must have thought when she left that 5-6 combo, it was all over. She's up to the table. So it's still on this game. Still no nearer to knowing. And if it does go to 3-3, guys, we will have one of those shootouts that we know you all love. And all the players, they hate them, don't they? Oh, they're so cruel sometimes, Predator. Yeah, in general, the match is really has evened out. If you look at the player overall performance, if you look at the, the amount of fouls, Christina has missed four balls to chose one ball. But then the safety efficiency is not exactly even if you look at Rex one after safety play Christina of course made a jump on the safety from Joe that was a big difference in the first set let's see what she can do on the break needs a good cue ball a good cue ball and needs a ball she hasn't made one she was breaking rather well in the first set wasn't she yeah one big difference I can see is that I feel she's trying to break harder and harder and the cue ball is now overcutting the one ball so the wing ball also does get a different line. There's a different throw. So 
my main advice would be take a little bit of speed off and make sure you hit him square in the face. Oh, that did hesitate. Four I times do, across. I do feel some nerves in the arena. Both players are starting to struggle, knowing the finish line is near. Of course, there's big money on the line. A mistake here, a bit short for this three ball. It's a thin one. May risk going into something here, maybe, Tim. Wasn't even interested in going for it, so the safety it is then. Well, this is Get what she's been on. doing the whole tournament. She's been doing this no risks, nothing special with spin, just solid safety play and outmove her opponents. That's one of the reasons why Cho got so far in this event, and maybe that's why so she's the world number one. Yeah, I was just going to say, is it, I haven't really noticed it before, is it because of the new equipment, Tim? As we see, a miss there, number three, from Christina, looking at the rail a little bit peculiar, as if to say, how can I hit that? Looks like she had some unwanted English on that, you know, some left hand spin, Tim. Yeah, it, either way, she was she was at the wrong side of the three ball as well. So she was two balls off, which is quite some bit. And yeah, just in general, I've been watching Cho now a couple matches and you can really see that she feels really well when to take a risk and when not to. So this really makes her percentages very strong. The great Steve Davis always said he would never take anything on unless it was like 70-30 in his, he said very, very occasionally he'd take a 60-40, but he reigned for roughly six years in the snooker world, Tim, by playing the similar kind of game, you know, not taking any undue risks. Let your opponents take the risks. Well, I would have liked to not bump the eight ball to the long rail. So now has to play a draw to play the eight in the top left corner. Yeah, she come up short again. It's such a big difference because if she leaves herself that angle on the six where she doesn't touch the eight, you have the six straight in seven, eight to the side, and you can move back down for the nine. So those are signals to me that there is huge pressure on both ladies. Made it well. Made it very well. So this nine ball to make it two one. She'll be one away from the hill one away from where she's guaranteed at the very least a shootout but she won't want to get involved in that she'd love to take the next two racks to take that out of the equation completely so Tim we have our men's semi-finals tomorrow in the world 10 ball a few surprises, Sanchez Ruiz going out to Dennis Grave. That could be a bit of a shock to some. 
also uh, Nukioi is through also he beat Veda Rahadi who had a terrific tournament and also Biardo back in the mix again and that's just massive isn't it tomorrow Carlo Biardo 10am against Fedor Gorst both matches for you guys live on table one and table two free to watch on YouTube Nukioi against Dennis Grave of Estonia and Fedor Gorst against Carlo Biardo 10am tomorrow morning back to this one can Rita get on the hill She hasn't made a ball on the break. It was a bit of pop, Tim, especially for you, but no ball for you. Yeah, it's still hand wreck. I mean, it's random. <laughs> so. Just wondering, is she gonna nick the one behind the four and bring the cube all the way back down table? That's what she's tried to play. Has found cover with the three ball. Cho showing up with the jump cube, but that three ball is very far. Don't like the jump at all. Well, could kick, need to be could Florian kick. Cola. She could kick over the short rail with left spin. If she catches it really well, she could get the cue ball behind the four. I don't like this so much. It was easier to make a hit, but that cue ball is extremely lucky. I don't often see emotion from Chow, but there was some there she knows. She's had a big, big stroke of luck there. Look at that. But it's jumpable. Oh, it comes with high rewards, but it's such a tough jump. Yeah, that was the biggest risk. And, you know, look at that 3-9. She might be playing the 3-9 combo. Just because Just mentioned. she made... Just because she made a two-ball by accident, she's given ball in hand on this combo. I just mentioned Florian Kohler there, and that was a, a trick shot that they might want to try and re-enact. What a shot that was. Unlucky, Christina. Didn't get over it, and she's on the hill. Now, Che Yu, another big title could be coming very, very soon. Where did it go wrong for Christina, Tim? What's happened? Come on, give us the tale of the, the match. Well, it was, she did miss the five ball on the first rack this set. And in the second rack, she missed it twice as well. And I believe if she really could catch on at that point, she would be right on the way to the, win to the finish line. To, to yeah to get the cheese but yeah well she hasn't now i feel she's a little bit unfortunate because cho kicked at the one ball got lucky behind the two and then if the two stays up cho would never play shape on the three nine combo but just because the two ball went she's left ball in hand with that combination so things going for cho a little bit yeah, good point. Oh, four ball was close, but then again, nothing on the one ball. You see, the, the match, the first eight, nine wrecks, balls were flying in, they were getting shape. Life was being so good, and then now everything starts to be struggling and this could also be just the tension they're not as smooth as in the beginning no more
messy layout. And I think it will be rearranged a little bit here. Yeah, could shoot the one into the short rail off the back of the three ball. Either the one ball stays there or if you catch it really good, it might slide in the corner and if you bring the cue ball back two rails, possibly three rails to where it is now, you might be able to have the two ball on the side after. This is an aggressive shot. She could also play the one in between the rail and the seven and just wait. She's probably playing this shot. Oh, she did play the distance one. I just think this shot really puts more pressure on Christina than, than a more passive safety. A lot of movement there, once again. Must be said, Tim, she hasn't got the best technique, the Taiwanese talent. She's got plenty of talent. She's got plenty of grit and determination. She's got plenty of titles as well. Maybe sometimes it's just her technique which lets her down slightly. Maybe I'm being a little harsh to the world champion. Well, she has left the one ball on and did she get lucky to tie the three ball up with the seven? I believe so. If Cho can cut the one and hit any edge of the three ball, either left or right, she could have been on the two ball. Well, where's she gone here? I just don't understand why she would play the one to the two ball because how was she expecting to open up the three seven with the two ball being there? And then also she's hooked herself, so maybe another lifeline for Christina. Scratches on, scratches in. Christina to catch is in. Could we be going to a shootout after all? Maybe wrong shot choice, Tim, in your eyes. The one to the two. Yeah, I was not a big fan of what she's played there. Now also, would be nice if she can hit the rail first and then run into the three ball. This way, we're gonna create a little bit more distance. I think she will be fine, queuing over the seven. Can she queue just next to it? She's fine. Can she handle the nerve? She certainly Co can, nice stroke. Of course, knowing that every mistake could be the end might be the worst feeling as a player, especially on huge occasions like this. She's hit that one great. And a shot for Christina there. Could leave the cue ball along the long rail and go forward on the six. Could also draw back where she is now, but I would take the easy, easy position. Well, she seems to have got back into her stride, stroking the cue ball much more confidently now, springing her step, moving round the table with greater pace. And she's kind of on a free roll here, isn't she, Tim? Because she must have thought she was out here.
shootout is still on, guys. Just this eight and nine ball to reduce it to three, two, and she will be breaking to go heel, heel. We all know what that means. Well, what has she done here? She caught that Whoa. so badly, that loop ball. She caught it so bad, Tim. Almost missed it. In the end, people will never ask how she's done it. They only ask if she's done it. And she did get out, so tying the gap, closing the gap, three to two. And we see it quite a lot, don't we, in pool. All of a sudden you think you're down and out and then your opponent makes a mistake. Like Rita did then, and all of a sudden, ball in hand, chance to close the gap again now come on referee get them nice and tight maybe we'll see a golden break from christina she hasn't had one yet well it would be fair to level the statistics on everything when was Paul May never fair her the first breaks and the later breaks is just go for that square hit. Don't try to put everything in there. Lots better, way better cue ball and oh, that six ball in between. Yes, nine ball started to move towards that corner, but there was no pace in it. Luckily for Rita, but that six ball coming in to spoil the celebration of a shot at the one. So a push out. Where are you pushing to, Tim? Yeah, I might be looking at going to the short rail, but also knowing that I might leave a shot is not very comfortable. Um, could also opt to push behind the seven and take the jump on the one ball but that's also risky like th there is a lot of risky push outs here maybe indeed cut the eight ball really thin and push it over next to the three ball and hopefully blocking the three a bit because in case Cho cuts this one ball in she might have a chance to get shape as well and if you tie a ball up she is less likely to get that shape. She works very, very hard in the mental side of the game as well. I know she does meditation and a bit of yoga. Goes to the gym regularly, eats very, very healthy. Works on the mental side. She even changed her whole pre-shot routine to accommodate the shot clock. She was realizing that, you know, she was going quite far in tournaments, getting onto the TV table and the shot clock, her pre-shot routine, Tim, was just too long. A bit like my speech there, I was talking over the shot. And what a great shot it was. Yeah, this is a huge chance. Even she could roll in between the 8-9 save. She could also go cut the three ball with top spin, run through the eight. Just depending if it is a pretty big cut, and if she can tie the cue ball right in between the 8 9. She did go for it, and yeah, this worked out great. What a chance here. If she plays this with top spin, she can shoot the 5 in the bottom side pocket, and things might be over. One more good shot. It's there. A little bit soft. I was expecting at least to strike the ball just that bit more. She's not out of the woods yet. She might have to go around the eight. 
take a small risk. I... This is tough. There was a big chance of this happening, but she kind of had to play at the speed that most of the time she would get something. Now, this long six ball, good thing is she can play pocket speed, so it will slide in if she gets close. But it's a nervy shot. This is missable, or is she going to pound it in? Going for power. Oh, wow. oh what a joke. What she a shot. Up. Blows out the cheeks. She knows that was the shot, Tim. Almost there. Wow, what a match. So close, either player. So Christina to catch. We'll have to to wait take us out Tim for the title women's showdown champion Chi Yu Cho she's done it she's beaten she's been touched to the end and sets she is the champion gets the trophy and $35,000 congratulations to Rita and also to Christina of course Amazing performance, great match to watch, of course. I hope everybody has liked it. And it was Mark White and myself, Tim De Reuter, in the booth. Tomorrow we will finish the World Tempo, so make sure you're there at 10 a.m. Thank you and enjoy the prize ceremony. See ya. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever Pro Vision Series Women Showdown Award Ceremony. We are hosted at the CSI Expo in the Rio Alto Hotel and Casino from Vegas, Nevada. Our founding partners are the Predator Group and Q Sports International. Our official partners are Yalin, Kamui Brand, Medalla Light, Rums of Puerto Rico, and Samsung TV. Our event is played on the best equipment in the world. Predator Apex Pro pool tables covered with Predator Arcadia Performance Cloth and Predator Arco 2 balls and under the Predator Arena Bayern lights. Right now, I'd like to introduce our dignitaries for the war's presentation. Representing the Predator Group, CEO Karim Belha. and Pro Video Series Event Manager, Vincent Grossford. First, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a moment to recognize this hard-fought match and our finalists. Vincent Grossford will present flowers to Christina Takach. And now, our women's showdown champion. Oh, sorry.
And now, our Women's Showdown Champion, Rita Cho. Vincent will present the trophy. Mr. Belhod will present the check. Our first ever Pro Video Series Women's Showdown Champion, Rita Cho. This concludes our trophy ceremony. Thank you again to all the partners and sponsors who made this event possible. But join us tomorrow in the Predator Pro Arena at 10 a.m. sharp for the World 10 Ball Championship semifinal. Nayuki Oi versus Dennis Graves and Federer Borch versus Carlo Biato. Then the final at 3 p.m. Thank you, God bless you, and good night.